Today I wanted to show y'all how I make these mom tiles, or in this case, an auntie tile. I seen this all over several years ago and I've been offering them for like two or three years now around Mother's Day, but people order them all year. Basically, I put the name in whatever color vinyl they want in the middle of this tile, and then I'm gonna overlay it with the names of the kiddos or whoever they wanna put over top of the name. The tiles I get are from Home Depot. They are the oyster gray four by 12 inch glass tiles. And then the vinyl I use is just Oracle 651 permanent vinyl. The font for the background is just a bold Times New Roman font. And then the font for the names that I use is the I Love Glitter font, which I got from Creative Fabrica. There is a free trial for Creative Fabrica in my bio if you would like to get that for yourself. First, before I put the vinyl down, I clean and let it dry with rubbing alcohol just to make sure there's no debris on the tile. And I also check it for any imperfections. When you're dealing with permanent vinyl and you're peeling it off, always turn it backwards and peel the backing paper off of the vinyl and not the other way around. It comes off way better that way. Honestly, I just kind of eyeball it and make sure that it looks pretty good. And then I work my way from one end to the other to avoid any bubbles in the vinyl. Once I feel that the vinyl is nice and secure, I peel at a 45 degree angle the transfer tape off, just paying attention and making sure nothing is lifting up. And then anything else, I'm just kind of smoothing out with my finger. And then the names is going to be in the middle of that, but I like to trim off every little piece of extra around it so I can make sure and see to get it as straight as possible right down the middle. So you could do your own with like dad on the background, mom, mommy, aunt, whatever you would like. Again, the font for the middle is the I Love Glitter font and it has a bunch of small little intricate details. So I go through and I actually leave a little bit of the details and I don't weed it before I put it on there. And then I go through and just take them off after. It's called reverse weeding. There's many variations of that technique, but that's just what I do. Those little tiny pieces in the little Ds and everything like that are like, like really difficult to get off of there. And I just wipe it off again with the rubbing alcohol for any fingerprints. For the back, because I don't wanna peel off the little barcode sticker in to make it look nicer, I get these adhesive cork sheets from the Dollar Tree. I can get two backings out of one piece. I like to make sure it's inset just a little bit, like a quarter inch all the way around. So I trim off a little bit off the end and then I make each one about three and a half inches wide. So when I put it back on the tile, it's gonna have like a little white space all around. See the sticker I'm talking about? It's really difficult difficult to get off and this was my solution. It's been working out so far for the last three years or so. And then it's ready to go on their bookshelf, coffee table, whatever they want to put it on. These are amazing for Mother's Day, but they're also great for any time of the year. I hope you learned something today.